Hello, Just Too Good here, and today I'm taking a look at the LEGO Spider-Man 2020 Spider-Man Mech Set, which has 152 pieces, one minifigure, and retails for $10 in the United States. This was sent to me early from Canada, thanks to Carson Bricks, so thank you, and let's take a look at the minifigure. The Spider-Man minifigure included with this set is just that version that they love plopping into different sets that does not have dual-molded legs. <sighs> Lego, you frustrate me sometimes. At least they do use the new printing for 2019, or at this point, newish printing since it's already gonna be a year old, but ugh. And of course, Lego gives the web blast pack in here. So you get all of those web pieces, including the handcuffs, which I guess you can't really put to use since there's no villains in the set. And those are a little bit built up here with some different pieces coming together. The build for the Spider-Man mech, I actually like a lot more than when I first saw digital pictures. That's actually something I could even say with the Thanos mech. I think the execution here is definitely not perfect, but it doesn't make for a bad build. At the front cockpit, there's a nice printed 2x2 two two circular tile. Also this miniature mech frame in red, which this is clipped on and you could easily open it and remove Spider-Man, who is on this minifigure divider piece to keep him in place. But right behind the cockpit, there's these interesting Stinger builds, and this design uses a new color for this piece, at least according to Brickset's part database, and these can be rotated at their base, as well as at the clip, where you can move them side to side, as well as where the clips meet the actual body, and that's attached via some Technic pins, where you can move them up and down. So there's a lot of different articulation there that I really appreciate and you can position them as you'd like and pose the whole mech together, but we'll get to posing later on, don't worry. For the arm builds, they're actually the same on both sides, just inverted. And at the shoulder, they use some miniature ball joints as well as some triangular vent pieces as I call them. And eh, I don't really like that there, it just looks a bit awkward. They do use this spider web piece, which comes with those other accessories, and that actually works pretty well. At the top, they also have this stickered piece, and I like how the, a lot of different angles of this shoulder part actually look complete. There's another joint here for this middle section, and that gets some rotation, as well as for the hand builds. And the hands do use some clipped pieces, which you could adjust to make it look like he's slinging the web as well as this ExoForce robot arm. There's another sticker at that sloped piece at the back, and the pieces that we showed earlier with Spider-Man holding can actually be attached, and that's the web blast from the hands. And again, while each arm build is identical, I put the second web blast at the other hand. As for everything below the body, this part right here is actually meant to make sure that this doesn't rotate 360 degrees, the legs themselves have three joints, so you have the top part here, which don't have much detailing. Also this middle section, which also doesn't have too much detailing and actually looks a bit awkward from this side here. And then the feet, which I like how flat those are so that it can hold up the top of the mech pretty well. And that's another miniature bowl joint right there, just connected via this circular two by two jumper. And at the end, there's another one of those sticker pieces, which yeah, a lot of the stickers in this set are identical looking, but they're just a little bit different. And you can position them in different ways as well, which you know what time it is. That's right, it's articulation time. Look at the weird pose I got here. Is he meditating or is he just making a big leap? In this shot, he's a Looney Tune back in action. Uh, you could see me being half asleep does not affect the quality of this review in any way. And over here, he's a ballerina now. But that's it for the build of the set. Let's take a look at the packaging and then the final verdict. And the box for the set copies that same design the other Spider-Man 2020 sets have. And at the back, there's a different shot. As for the instruction booklet, at the end, it does have an advertisement with the other LEGO Spider-Man sets and with the other LEGO Avenger sets all from winter 2020. So overall, the Spider-Man mech is a little bit better than I expected, I'll be honest. Yeah, I was pretty harsh on it. I think it is better than last year's Spider-Man mech looking back and having this all built. This design does have a pretty nice color scheme. It has a pretty complete frame to it. It looks like it makes sense, even though the fact that Spider-Man has a vehicle just 
boggles my mind. I don't care if it's appeared in the comics. There's some nice back attachment there and a pretty interesting integration of the spider web parts. Nothing new, but it works well when you have it all decked out. I'd give this one a C plus still because again, it just doesn't feel fresh. It's not the best of the mechs and the Spider-Man minifigure is just the worst version of the one you could get in some of those more expensive sets. I don't like how they don't include dual molded legs here, trust me. But that's it for this review. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.